you've all read it. How could you? It's private. Oh, you're dead to me. Look, I'm sorry, love. But I had to. We all care about you. Oh, you don't. None of you really love me. That is rubbish. Do you know that your dad was absolutely destroyed when he thought that he'd lost you? We have all been in bits. Do you know, we had T-shirts printed, flyers, posters. We were out day and night, desperately trying to find you because we all love you so much. Me, your dad, Benice and Daz. He got away with murdering your second his side over me and Beth. She's the only one that's been honest with me. It was an accident and it's plagued him for years. Too late. Right. You saw the way that he was when he came back. He was homeless. He was depressed. When I brought your Uncle Daz back, you were with me all the way. You were the one that saved him with me. <sighs> we might be a little bit of a weird setup, but we're a family. No, we're not. I lost my mum. I had to get to see my brother and I'm stuck here with you liars! Sorry, oh, mate. Me. Let's me. sit down and try and work this out. Oh, can I? I know what it's like to lose a parent and he's not even sorry. Look, I know you weren't keen before. But should we get Harriet to try and speak to her? It's got to be worth a go. Go back to work. Go, I don't need watching. You do. Look who's come to see you. Dan. You can talk to me about anything. How are you feeling? What happened to you? But if you say you're going to run off again or that someone hurt you, I will have to tell someone that. The rest stays between us. Beth's my friend. They got her wrong. She's grieving too, but she looked after me. If she did do it, it was only because of what Daz did to her dad. He kept that a secret away from all of us, didn't he? Sometimes it's hard to tell the people you love about really difficult experiences like that. Well, that's why people talk to strangers on buses. Or come to church and talk to vicars instead. And did he come speak to you? No, because he murdered Beth's dad, so stop protecting him. No, Beth. No. But, you know, sometimes when someone you love dies suddenly, you want answers, maybe someone to blame. I can't believe I'm never going to see my mum again. But at least nobody killed her. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't cry or talk enough about all of that. But it's OK. You can now. Beth listened. Now I know it's because she understands what it feels like, but... I just don't know who to trust anymore. I wouldn't lie to you. So believe me, you can trust Daz and Dan and Kerry 100%. They've only ever had your best interests at heart. I swear, we'll never let you down again. Cross me heart and hope to wrinkle. And, uh, you know how precious you are to us. So can we try and make things right now? Seems like 